Howdy, I'm here with David, uh, what's your call sign? Kilo India 4, Golf Oscar X-Ray. So tell me about your most memorable contact. Well, my inspiration to get my ham license to the tech well, um, it's a silent key, whiskey for Victor Papa Zulu, um, the father of my uh, dearest and closest friend. Um, and after uh, Wheeler passed away, the original whiskey for Victor Papa Zulu, Kelly was able to earn his call sign um, and be an extra. And so the first time, Frank, that I made a QSO with Kelly um, was had to be the most special QSO I've had thus far. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that story. I love it. And continue uh, getting your license. You said you're going to try to upgrade to general? Absolutely. Oh, we can't wait to hear you on the airways. But uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm with uh, Vic. 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 J-E-A-J-W-E. And you are one of my tank commanders. So yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And my question for this ham fest is, what is your most memorable contact? So far, my most memorable contact is an FTA contact to a research station in Antarctica. I'm waiting for the QSL card to come back. I can't wait for that. And I was so excited when I finally made contact. I'm thinking, this is so cool. Who lives in Antarctica? It's a research station, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. Uh, that's amazing. So you said FTA? FTA. 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 Oh, man. And, and I know that not a lot of folks do FTA. Well, there's so many people do FTA. Yeah, yeah. But they don't really consider it ham radio, but it is. It is We're radio. making great communications. It tells me how well my equipment's working. It's over HF, right? Oh, over HF. No internet? No internet. This ham radio. Ham radio. And uh, this is on 20 meters. 20 it's meters. It's on 20 meters. Oh. oh, yeah, 20 meters out that far. Oh. From and I was living in Ohio at the time, mm -hmm. and it was right after the uh, Dayton Ham Fest up there, a year and a half, two years ago. Two years before, ago. Yeah, it was the it was a year before COVID broke everything. Wow. That's when I got it. So I was so excited. I can't wait to get the QSO card back. It was fun. QSO card. Oh, send them. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, and good luck, and enjoy. I am with Richard, and Richard, what is your most memorable contact? Uh, most memorable. Memorable contact would be a QRP contact from Branson, Missouri to an hour and a half north of Melbourne, Australia. Australia? Australia. Wow. On 17. 17? It's not in the logbook anywhere, but I do have it recorded. That is beautiful. Well, if it's recorded, then it's in the log somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Right. We just got to dig it up and put it on the QRZ or logbook of the world, but it oh, well. counts. It counts. Okay, I'll buy that one. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Richard. No problem. Thanks. Enjoy the Ram Fest. I'm with Tom here, and uh, what is your most memorable contact? My most memorable contact probably was uh, getting to work John Amadeo, AA6JA, uh -huh. uh, during the uh, last man standing uh, final event. Oh, you made a contact during the final event? I was one of the, I was oh. actually, I got to be one of the stations representing the show. And then John actually took the time to do kind of a net and talk with each one of us. It was oh, really that's, cool. that's awesome. That's awesome. And what's your call sign real fast? WA2IVD. And you said you had a podcast also? What's your YouTube channel? Uh, it's Ham Radio A to Z. Ham Radio to A to Z. Well, thank you very much and thank enjoy you. your ham fest. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you again. I'm here with Ronnie Stewart. And uh, what's your call sign? W4PRS. Awesome. And my question today is, what is your most memorable contact? My most memorable contact is I contacted Pitcairn Island in the South Pacific. Oh, wow. Uh, talked to, there was a guy doing a um, DX event down there. And it out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the South Pacific is where the Mutiny on the Bounty crew went wound up going to. Oh, that's cool. And it was, it was, it was amazing contact. I was talking to a guy in California, and when I got through with him, the guy broke in from Pitcairn and contacted me. Oh, that's and awesome. Good I'm, luck. I'm running a 100-watt Yesu on an old cruise craft antenna. I was amazed I got that far. Oh, awesome. Awesome. And you said you got both Jason and I at the Grand Canyon. At the Grand Canyon, yes. Uh, did you send me a QSL card? No, but I will. Yeah, go ahead. I am getting ready to print up custom QSL cards for the Grand Canyon. Okay, good. And it's the only time I'm going to send them out. Okay. 
I will be sure to get you one sent that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for coming on. All right. Thank you much. I'm here with Greg. Uh, what's your call sign? KK4KIG. And uh, what is your most memorable contact? Uh, probably my most memorable contact would be uh, my first FT8 contact with a friend, uh, Daniel 2E. Zero BLN in mm -hmm. England. England. Yeah, Scarborough, England. Yeah. Scarborough, he, England. Yeah, he helped me set it up, and uh, he was learning like way down negatives, you know, decibels. And we thought there's no way this is going to happen, but uh, we kept pounding at it, and uh, everything in his shack and mine both was glowing. But we made it. You know? Awesome. That's the best, man. Yeah. To get that final payoff and yeah, it works. Yeah, that RR73, man, it was all worth that. Oh, so. that's awesome. Yeah, it's a good deal. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Good seeing you. Enjoy the show. Kilo, Oscar, four, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Alpha. Um, and, and what's your most memorable contact? Uh, my most memorable contact was when uh, I was in Curacao and I, I worked uh, remote. I worked our own station, PJ2Y. So. And, and you did that with Remote Ham Radio? With Remote Ham Radio. Great program, by the way. And what is Remote Ham Radio? Uh, Remote Ham Radio, uh, it's in uh, affiliation with Flex Radio, and they allow youth um, to have uh, time on, well, actually, with youth for Remote Ham Radio, they allow uh, youth uh, free time on uh, Flex Radios. So you get uh, very nice contesting stations that uh, all the youth can use completely for free. Uh, it's a free program, so you can apply at uh, RHR um, on their website. Ooh, awesome. And you make contact with yourself, your own station, through Remote Ham Radio. Yes, sir. Well, uh, there was another operator working the station at the time, but I was yeah. I was able to, to work PJ2Y. That's that's awesome. And still ham radio because you worked a remote station, but still transmitted to you over RF. Yes. That counts. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, man. Enjoy your ham fest. Thank you. Ham radio adventure guy. What is up, bro? On YouTube, ham radio adventure guy. What is your most memorable contact? My most memorable contact would be all the youths that I work when I do photo. Uh, whether it's with their dad or grandpa letting them on the radio or if they've already made their call, I'll stop my pile off any time for a youth because uh, the youth is the future of ham radio and that's where we should be focusing. I agree wholeheartedly. And uh, did you photo on the way down? Absolutely. What did you hit up? I got uh, Abraham Lincoln's home place. Ooh, uh, we drove by that going yeah. to Dayton, and we did not stop. Jason then, didn't stop. Then I stopped in Nashville and did a meet and greet, and we did a twofer with uh, four operators. Four operators, twofer? Who, do you yeah. know the, the call signs, names? Q, Kilo November 4, Victor Kilo X-Ray, Victor Kilo Yankee, and Victor Kilo Whiskey. Look at that memory, 10 times better than mine. I'd be like, yes, we operated four other guys. It was amazing. <laughs> So, uh, see anything cool yet today? Uh, people. People. I love meeting the people that, that I've worked, uh, especially when I, when they walk up to me and they say hi, and I already know their call sign just by the tone of their voice. Oh, that, that, that's a great there's thing. been a few. I'm like, I know that call sign. I can it's, finally see who that is. It, it, it's, it's amazing. You know, I got to, uh, Vern, Vern uh, from, from Texas. Yes. I, I finally got to meet him yesterday and today. Good, good stuff. And, it's, you know, just, just hanging out with all my ham buddies. I don't, I don't need to buy nothing because I'm here to see my people. You know, if I buy something, that's just bonus. I agree. I agree. Well, all right, man. I'll let you get back to the ham fest and uh, take it easy, man. Run it out. Good to see you, Frank. Good to see you. I'm here with Ray here. And uh, what is your most memorable contact? My most memorable contact was my first contact. Yeah. And so I had a little bow thing with a roof adapter on my car. And I finally just got over the mic fright and shot my call out on the repeater and hit it. And uh, a nice local guy got on and just said, hey. And we talked for about 15 minutes going in our commute. And uh, we wrapped up our QSL. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I could do this. That, that's a great first rig. That was my also first rig, a bow thing and a mag mail. Yep. And, and it worked for about six, seven months for me. Yeah, and I still have the setup. I don't use it now. I've got a FT7900 in my truck. Yeah. But the... Um, if, I get, if we take road trips, I put it in my wife's truck, uh, her van, so we have a little bit of access. Nice, nice. But, yeah, I got about a week later, the guy sent me a QSL card, and it's still sitting on my, my punch board in the in the Oh, engine, that's so. amazing. So That's cool. amazing. Well, thank you, Frey, and uh, enjoy the rest of your ham fest. Right. What was your name again? My name is Kenny. Kenny. KC4OJS. Kenny, uh, what's your call sign? KC4OJS. Thank you. And uh, what is your most memorable contact? 
My most memorable contact was in Hurricane Maria, right after the hurricane cleared the island of mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. It was operating on 40 meters and contacted the RMS station through in Mexico, which sent my messages back to the States through the internet. Yes, oh, and I was so cool. using an HF rig, a Kenwood 480, operating on battery and about 20 watts and a 4080 trap dipole up at about 30 feet. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you for doing that. Thank, and thank you for what you do for amateur radio. Oh, oh I, I, that's, thank you. You're going to make me blush here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, have a good ham fest. I'm so sorry I lost the audio on this one. He had a great story. I'm so sorry, dude. All right. Um, my question of the day is, what is your most memorable contact? Um, oh, hey everybody. Uh, so my uh, most memorable um, ham radio contact had to be, um, I'm a military auxiliary radio operator. Uh, my government call sign is Alpha Alpha November 144. Um, we were out in Germany, out in a uh, corn, you know, out in the middle of nowhere in Germany. Um, me and my soldier um, set up a, a thousand foot long wire antenna. The sun's going down. We were trying to call a uh, outstation for the Mars program and we ended up uh, getting that station. It was about 4,500 miles. We talked on 20 watts of power with the- uh, 20 the watts? Wa yes. Wow. <laughs> we terminated with the resistor at the end, but it was, um, we really didn't think it was gonna work because we hit, we called them the first time. They didn't hear us. We went and adjusted the antenna, mm -hmm. called them again, didn't work. Then we adjusted it one more time and then it ended up working. But it was like ecstatic, you know, the- Down in the noise? Yes. <laughs> But you, you pulled it out. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. And uh, what's your, do you have a amateur radio call sign? Yes, my call sign is uh, Kilowatt 2 Tangley Max K2 TLX. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for your service, man. Yeah, not a problem, friend. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.